Hi everyone, my name is Firas Al Masaddi and I'm the CEO of Fan Properties. This is the Inside Scoop with Bayut. So as most agents know by now, there's no more paper form A. It has to be electronic. A digital form A can be generated from the REST app. Only up to three brokers can advertise the same property. Uh, and of course, cold calls and all kinds of cold marketing are strictly prohibited and strictly audited by the Wayland Department. Property portals and brokers are equally responsible to comply with the new changes of the Wayland Department. Uh, DLD is very serious about this to the extent that it's demanding from all agencies to, of course, uh, educate and train the real estate agents on the new changes and how they should evolve and adapt to the new changes. The new changes, of course, will help a lot all stakeholders in the market. So starting with end users and investors, of course, it was really difficult to navigate through the fake and the genuine listings in the market. Today, you can get clear reports in terms of prices, what's being advertised, and we can really spot trends on the number of listings that are coming to the market for a certain project or a certain master community. I think this will help individual as well as institutional investors to make well-informed decisions. And needless to say, the same applies to real estate brokers. But I think I can expand more on, on, on how this can help real estate brokerage companies, especially the large ones. It's very difficult to scale and to grow for real estate agencies unless the market is well regulated around them. And I think the new uh, changes will definitely help people to grow and to scale. And, and of course, well regulated markets attract global players. So I do anticipate to see more global uh, real estate agencies brands coming to the Dubai market. So for existing agents in the Dubai real estate market, I think we're going to see agents evolving towards, some of them will be evolving towards working only with landlords. So they become more specialized in the listing side of, of a transaction. And some of them will evolve more towards uh, working with buyers and with tenants. And I think we'd see more and more agents specializing in certain areas and communities, which, which is going to make it uh, harder for new agents to get into the market. Uh, of course, the value, the, a listing, a genuine listing, holds far more value than before. Uh, to give you an example, you know, two months back, any real estate agency with 10 brokers or any broker can list two or 300 properties. This is no longer the case. And I think we're gonna see more changes and more uh, governance coming to the market in terms of uh, regulating the off-plan listings as well on portals. Um, how this is gonna impact portals. Also, I see that uh, brokers' rights will be protected far more than before, I think. Form A has a lot more value than before, which states the obligations of also of clients, of sellers and landlords towards real estate brokers. So if we zoom out a little bit, I think this will also have a lot of positive impact on the sales market because when we say fake listings, many agents before they tend to underprice listings just to attract leads basically. Uh, to hook clients and then when clients call the agent would say it's sold i can find you something else at a higher price this practice will be completely eliminated from the market which is going to help every stakeholder in the market as a buyer or a tenant i really want to know how much i need to pay in order for me to get what and of course as a seller also if i'm looking at portals to check the market price i want to look at the portals and see the genuine market prices uh, so i know at what price my property would go and of course to check also what other properties are listed uh, genuinely in the market. I think there's a dominant effect on all uh, segments of the market, including the off-plan market, because also having a better insight on the resale market and what's happening in the resale market will, uh, will impact the decision-making process of agents, of investors, when it comes to buying or investing in the off-plan market. And I think more and more rules and laws will come to also regulate the listings on the off-plan side. So developers will be included as well in this. And I think this is only gonna help the market. You know, for any market to mature, if you look at all more developed markets, you would see that listings and property ads are extremely well controlled, whether we're talking about the agent side or the developer side. Now, agents at the same time who are maybe unable to penetrate into the resale market and to obtain genuine listings from clients will definitely probably start evolving and thinking more of doing off-plan because, of course, it's easier to get stock from developers as compared to the resale market that requires a lot of networking. I think all market stakeholders, including portals, will be able to make better decisions in the market because we're going to have accurate and clean data 
So portals will have much lesser number of listings on their websites, but at the same time, that will help them making better decisions. And one more thing that's really important, the exact asking price signed by the seller will be uh, the price advertised on portals. And portals have uh, you know, very strict policies now to ensure that they're fully in compliance with the Land Department changes or new rules. So in order for agents to generate, uh, in cooperation with landlords, of course, to generate these permits uh, to advertise properties, the landlord would have to receive an SMS from DLD that has a link. And of course, when you click on the link, it will, you can request a verification code as a landlord and you enter the verification code in order for you to get the permit or for the agent to get the permit. If the contact details are not accurate at the time or not registered right correctly at the time of doing this, executing the sales transaction or buying or uh, the property, uh, then the lender would never be able to get the code and hence the permit would not be issued. So everyone has to make sure that the exact agents have to make sure that the, the correct mobile number of the landlord is listed on uh, the Way Land Department records. Wow, there's a big opportunity for real estate agents, especially for the good ones, the professional uh, agents, because before any agent could look professional or could look, you know, listing rich as a listing rich agent, but now only pros will be able to uh, to navigate through this market. So the real opportunity, I think, there's a first mover advantage opportunity for agents to penetrate into communities that they specialize in, uh, because not every agent now will be able to cover all of Dubai since the, the maintaining a listing or even obtaining a listing and maintaining a listing and managing the relationship with landlords is, is far more, uh, I would say, time consuming than before, which means the ratio between the number of agents and the number of listings for any agency in Dubai now matters than, more than ever before. So the opportunity is to capitalize on the first mover advantage and to jump into the new genuine game of doing real estate in Dubai and try to really network with all the, the landlords or the sellers that you already have and to get, of course, exclusivities from them and to obtain listings and to gain them trust and to explain to them what's happening in the market and how these changes are impacting them. I really feel there is a big opportunity to move fast and before others because some agents would say, okay, the laws are here, but they will still try and survive on, you know, on the previous uh, way of, of doing real estate and these guys will find it very difficult to jump in and to, to catch up within six months from now. Although the new rules are already in, in practice and 1st of October only three permits or three brokers can advertise one unit, but it's going to take some time for the market to consolidate and to clean itself. I think uh, players or companies who are not well prepared, who don't have the right infrastructure and the administrative support will not be able to survive the new uh, working environment in, in, in the way we see markets. Uh, bigger players maybe will have the lion's share and will have uh, more advantages because uh, less cold calls, which means uh, sellers and those who intend to sell and to rent their properties will start knocking doors for on real estate agencies, on well reputable real estate agencies to, to list their properties. Uh, so on the, on the long run, I think the market will witness a, a major consolidation and the market will be more and more regulated and more and more uh, genuine and the reports will be far more transparent as we go, which will, of course will help every stakeholder to make well-informed decision and to, to strategize well when entering or exiting the market. So my advice to all agencies, big or small, is to really start considering working together. And I think whether we're talking at the, scale, at the level of real estate agencies or CEOs or even individual real estate agents, they need to work and to collaborate more than before. Uh, as I said, some agents will specialize more on the listing side, some agents will specialize more on the, on the buyer or the tenant side. And I think that cooperation uh, is inevitable in the, in the coming years in Dubai because we will need each other, whether you're a big company or a small company, it doesn't matter, long as you're doing genuine work and you have, you've built a good, reputable uh, uh, brand, people will deal with you and people will come to you, whether it's agents or we're talking about direct clients. And I think the administrative side of your business is gonna become more and more important as we go, so you have to pay attention to that and to, to the governance within 
uh, the agency or the organization. Remember, the corporate tax is also coming in 2023, so that will only regulate the market more and regulate real estate agencies more. So I think Bayut and Dubazil, but in particular Bayut, has a head start over everyone else in the market with their true check. Because if you think about it, true check is just a reflection or it's a different form of having a genuine listing online. But it wasn't compulsory for everyone. Now it is. It's by law now. And I think I've seen that Bayut has taken thousands of, listing, thousands of listings of their portal. I think none of these listings were the listings that were, were true checked by, by agencies because they were all genuine listings. And, uh, and they communicated to all agencies on the do's and don'ts on, of the new rules by the Bayland Department. And yeah, I wish them all the best. Thank <laughs> you.